However, these summer months are when high school football teams get the majority of their work in. Our Chevy Spotlight found out that it's not just the athletes on the football field who are putting in the hours in the hot Houston sun to get ready for the upcoming season. Take a look. Yep, good, great. The weeks leading up to the start of another high school football season can be long and hard. No matter if practices start in the early morning or at night, in Texas, you can expect a heat index in the upper 90s. But the practices continue because every team is working towards that one common goal, a state title. However, it's not just the athletes striving for a successful season. Each school's marching band is pushing through the heat too, as they attempt to master their halftime routine. It definitely hasn't gotten easier. I think every year I come out here and it's even hotter than the year before. I would argue that it's like harder than any other sport because of the different musical elements we also have to think about besides just the physical aspects. At Texas City, the high school sting band is battling the heat and humidity, but unlike previous years, they began preparing for the weather weeks before practices. We have uh, physical conditioning camps that we have optional. We do two a days, Tuesdays, Thursdays for like an hour or two and we get them going. We start building that core and the upper body strength. Usually for the freshmen it's usually the hardest because they go from four years of being inside and all cool and everything to right being outside in the heat. But this year we had uh, conditioning for I think the first time which really inoculated a whole lot of people through the heat. We have like conditioning during the summertime to help build muscle to be able to strong enough to carry the drum but most of his mind, like, you have to stay focused. During the weeks before the first game, the Sting Band is not only learning the music, but the marching steps for their eight minute routine as well. Drum Major Aureli Reyes says, putting an entire routine together perfectly is similar to the football team mastering the playbook. Marching is a completely different thing where you have to get out there and know your music and know what you're about to do, or else someone could get hurt because, you know, if you're too, focused on the musical aspect, then you're not focused on the physical aspect, and you could run into someone and hurt them. Or if you're too focused on the physical, the playing is not as strong as it should be. Obviously in sports you have teamwork, but it's mostly you focus on your own part. But in band you have to mesh with everybody and work together to sound good. We have so many counts, so many steps, different step sizes that we have to take. Uh, you're weaving in and out of people. Um, so I mean, it, it, it's kind of like memorizing a song, memorizing uh, poetry, you have to just do it over and over again slowly and that repetitive motion is what's going to make it happen. The conditions may be less than desirable, but after going through last year's COVID season, the Texas City Band won't complain. It was a lot of watching and, and chaperoning and making sure that we had good hygiene while still trying to have fun, but it kind of took some fun out of it because we had so many rules, but the kids understood. They were just happy to be back and to be playing their instruments and just to see their friends and to see us, just to be in the building was a big, uh, big thing for them.